please welcome to bright engineer this is civil professional room don't forget to follow us on our youtube channel bright engineer facebook page bright engineer and instagram bright engineer for your better support please subscribe comment and share this room or in this room we are going to have different lectures these lectures will based on the following categories the first one is architecture in architecture we are going to have different things to consider such as standards when i talk about standard i mean the standard of different objects while drawing for instance when you want to draw a building then you have to understand the headroom the standard headroom of their building such as normal buildings and tall buildings or standard distance of the setback also we are going to draw normal and tall buildings in normal and tall buildings we are going to draw floor plan elevation in elevation we are going to draw front elevation rear elevation right elevation and left elevation also we are going to draw section roof in roof there are different elements such as ridge cap ridge board paling rafter king post struts and uh, tie beam as well as wall plate also we are going to draw another element of building such as foundations and stair color coding color coding will help us to give the clear views of our elevations also we're going to draw septic tank soffit drainage system etc i have written etc because there are some other things i have not written them but we are going to draw them the programs used are archicad autocad and revit architecture etc also there is another category that we are going to explain in detail this category is known as a structure structure by short definition this i have written through the point wise that structure is a framework in a framework we are going to draw roof slab beam column footing stair retaining structure dams drainage storage tanks etc the program that we are going to use in in design the programs are going to be master series excel spreadsheet orion revit and robot there are also some lectures are to be provided to those who want to know about boq bill of quantity i mean scheduling there are going to be some programs such as project manager and uh, and other programs that relate to the drawing of their scheduling but the first lecture will be archicad user interface let's open our archicad from the from the desktop but i have drawn but i have already opened it what we just see in front of our screen is our archicad user interface but to this lecture one we are going not to explain the commands but we are going only to explain different bars that are real vividly seen on your screen for instance on the top one what we have is title bar and the second one the title bar is linked with this menu bar in a menu bar we have file edit view design document option teamwork window objective card image and help this card image have to be installed but if you just install archicad as a default you are going not to see this menu but if you just install the card image you are going to see this portion on a menu bar and that's the bar below the menu bar is toolbar in toolbar we have standards and we have this one mini navigator if you see the boundary from this one up to this one 
this this bar is known as a standard it is toolbar is known as a standard and from this boundary up to here from this boundary up to here or the rest one is known as a mini navigator and uh, the bar below it are known as a palette uh, palette this one is palette and this one is palette we have this drawing area the drawing area is infinite but by default the drawing area is limited because we can give out our elevation after drawing but we can remove this this drawing area can be removed and you can create your own drawing area for instance no sorry let's select this ma arrow and then if I click on the on the drawing area and select the all view and then use the keyboard delete on your keyboard then delete the viewpoint delete anyway you can delete them and uh, you can place your own your own drawing area when you go just to the document and you can create your own drawing area here but this is not the lesson for today the lesson is for today is this one menu bar toolbar and palette so how can how can we customize our user interface the user interface can be customized for instance i've said this one is a standard when you go to the window when you want to customize your user interface make sure you just come into contact with window so when you click to the window open it to the toolbar in a toolbar you are going to see some two ticks the first one is mini navigator and the second one is a standard so when you just remove tick here to the standard the toolbar the standard toolbar will disappear but when you go to the window uh, and open to the toolbar and click to the standard you're going to return it to its own place again when you go to the window and place to the toolbar and remove to the and remove the tick to the main navigator the main navigator tool will disappear so when you want to return it back you have to go to window and then toolbars after that you can go to mini navigator and you can return it back also what we just have there is another palette here the palette has not been set yet but the palette can be vividly set and we can we can make it appear on our user interface but here we have this one this one is called the palette uh, and uh, its name is a toolbox when you go to the window when you want to customize go to the window then click palette after that go to the toolbox it will appear so if you open your architect and you find out that your toolbox is not present then go to the window then palette after that toolbox you are going to return it back also go to this one is called the navigator project it is also part of the palette when you go to the window and then select it palette after that go directly to navigator you are going to remove this one when you want to return it back go to the window select palette then go to navigator you're going to return it back also in a drawing there is to be info box this one is known as the info box this one when you click any command the info box must appear so this info box can be removed or sometimes when you click to the info box 
and uh, finding out that that when you click to the command and finding out that info box does not appear so don't panic don't be panic just come to the window then click palette after that go to the info box then the info box will disappear but if you click any command here you are going not to find the info box otherwise you have to double click you have to double click the command and go to its setting or for better illustration go to the window then select the palette after that select the info box the info box will appear so when you click any command the info box will appear on the top where you can fill in the information you want before drawing here at the bottom what we have at the bottom what we have at the bottom here is is a status bar but we cannot just see it according to the according to my computer but the down one here there is there is what we call as a starter starter bar or status bar where the information whatever kind of formation you just click on is going to be written here at the bottom that's why it's known as a status bar also let me give you another trick if you use archicad from 17 up to 19 or 20 if it is there is then you can remove this one by cancelling the x then there is this one uh, there is this navigator there is this one navigator symbol when you just click here you are going to bring it back and there is another important thing very very important during your drawing this thing is known as a quick option in a quick option you can be able to set scale uh, you can be able to to use the dime the metric system such as here by default plane meter but you can use plane millimeter so please we just beg you vividly that if you want to be a part of lana in archicad or regarding archicad please don't forget uh, to follow us and uh, you're going to understand how to draw from the beginning till the end this will be the end of the first lecture in the coming lecture in the coming lecture we are going to we are going to use this command wall door windows slab stair and all other commands that are found here and also we are going to use menu in application to draw different objects such as objects we can draw different objects uh, and uh, different buildings such as normal buildings and uh, and tall building thank you for watching but please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share for your better support thank you very much